I'm L. Nathan John, a Nigerian writer, satirist, novelist. And uh, what are you doing here in Geneva tonight? I'm here to receive the Prix Littéraire Les Apres. And uh, how do you feel uh, about this prize and about uh, receiving it? I feel elated to have listened to all of the judges and the reading committee uh, speak about the criteria they used in arriving at the winner of this prize. The depth of the reading, the thoroughness in the analysis, and the pure love for reading that each and every person, both on the jury and the reading committee, bring to uh, arriving at this decision where my novel was chosen as winner. I feel very privileged to be here and to be among people who love books so much. So my novel was initially conceived as a short story which sought to explain certain phenomenon that existed in the Nigerian political landscape. Um, how young men became involved in certain types of crisis, religious crisis, political crisis, and the internal crisis that young men experience in coming of age, in moving from boyhood to adulthood, and how all of the factors which drive young men to things like violence or participation in conflict exist and how they, they, they manifest in, in contemporary Nigeria. Okay. Well, my mother tongue is English, okay. in addition to Hausa. I mean, the, the question of mother tongue is very complicated. The reason is, for me, a mother tongue isn't as straightforward as, as other people. I say my mother tongue is the language in which I dream. Now, the colonialism is unfortunate event which erased our languages. However, um, like Chinua Achebe said, let no one be deceived that we're speaking, uh, that we're writing in English, for we intend to do unheard of things with it. Mm -hmm. And so with the, with the tools that we have, and with the tools with which we have, we've been educated, we bring the full weight of our culture, our identities, our contributions to this language that has grown through our history and our participation and engagement with the world around us. So that even when we do write English, we write it with a consciousness uh, that is only ours. And so, um, which is why I'm, I'm not uncomfortable writing in English. I also write in Hausa and I translate from Hausa into English. Um, however, the, my language of primary uh, uh, literary engagement is English. I wouldn't say so. I would, I would say that as a writer, one of the things that enable me to inhabit worlds, consciousness, uh, and worldviews, belief systems, is a certain empathy that forces me to engage with thoughts Assuming that I was the one that was being spoken about with the respect that I would want to be accorded and that moves me to do the work that that brings me as close as possible to all of the characters which which informs the style that I use which determines the language that I use okay. which 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 also you know uh, paints the the dialogue that exists in my work i I would say that I already do write about metaphysical questions. Mm -hmm. um, some of those metaphysical questions are embedded in what would appear to be ordinary stories. And the questions asked and the answers given are seen in the journeys that are, the characters take. And, and there are works that I've done up, uh, apart from this. I don't know what a writer dreams about, I know what I dream about. <laughs> um, I often dream about flying. It's a very interesting thing, actually, and, I, and I've written a story about it, about the fact that I dream about flying. Um, when I was much younger, and even up to my late teens, one of the most prominent dreams I had 
was that I was flying. And every dream would start from where the last dream stopped. So it would never be like the dream starting afresh. It would always be a continuation of the old dream. It would be that I had flown and on days when I was tired or not feeling very happy, I would dream that I was unable to fly. And on days when I was not, I would dream that I was flying, you know, from place to place. And so I, I sat down once and I thought, you know, how could this be in, in, in some, in a way, storified, you know? How, how can I reduce this to a story of, of a person who flies when they sleep? And I have a story called Flying, and it was shortlisted for the Cairn Prize for African Writing in 2015. Um, that's one of the one of the things that I dream about, which I which I've written about. I mean, writing has always been far more fulfilling for me than than being a lawyer. Sadly, it doesn't pay as much. <laughs> uh, but but I would much rather be writing than practicing law for for many reasons i mean for me practicing law is or having being a lawyer is is does affect the way i think and work uh because all of the critical thinking skills that i gather as a lawyer i bring to bear in 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 writing um however I, that that being the case i think that literature fulfills me in a way that law could never you know do and i find that the depths to which i can explore the human condition uh law could never take me there yeah i think that the first strong urge i felt to write came from the stories that i had read came from the the books that I engaged with, even though there were not very many when I was growing up. And my first engagement with the written word was with poetry. Mm-hmm. And I, I started writing and consuming a lot of poetry. And mm-hmm. in, in so, the poetry made me access the more emotive parts of 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 myself all of the questions that i was dealing with with life mm-hmm. and with death and with mortality and spirituality and mm-hmm. faith and all of those things mm-hmm. i found in the poets i was reading whether it was uh, the, the western classics you know whether they were william william wordsworth mm-hmm. or whether it was the apartheid era po- poets mm-hmm. you know or whether it was east african poets um or whether it was west african poets from the 60s all of them i found tackled certain questions that i had always you know thought of as a as 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 a young teenager and so uh, for me the ex- the expression of those worries uh, those i think the germans would say angst that as you speak german a bit, a little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, all, all of that, all of that, the expression of all of that was uh, was done through through writing and through the consumption of literature. And this was the closest I felt to to some some, some sort of community mm-hmm. in, in 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 my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, not necessarily the people that were around me but in the thoughts that I, I engage with.